What's up everybody? This is Chlorine from Minions Realm. And we have a war recap I would like to show. <clears throat> so as you can see, we're building quite a nice green warlog. Um just gotta get rid of these free clans at the bottom. But other than that, warlog's looking pretty sexy. Um this one I I want to show this, I believe they were from South Korea. And they, they tie, almost tied us in average destruction. So it was a little bit closer of a war. Well, a lot closer than the stars would suggest. Um, looking at our bases, the big thing that made this so close was um, they about halfway through. They tripled Twin and Dale, and then they took down Mephra. And so that's three of our Town Hall 10s, three of our six Town Hall 10s. That's half our Town Hall 10s. And um, that really scared me because um, that put them in a position to win. Fortunately, our Town Hall 9's base is held up. And so as you can see, they left a whole bunch of our 9s up. So... And looking at our defenses, like, it wasn't for lack of trying. Um, three on Gary, two on Silver, three on Anna, uh, two on Bob, two on Inspector, four on Echo, five on, <laughs> five on me. Um, they did leave a lot of the Town Hall 9s up, and I'm going to show why. On their side, they had, uh, well, three legit Town Hall 11s with Eagles. And then they were, like, really engineered. Um, their bases, I'm just going to show you, kind of show you a couple of their bases. Um, this guy was okay. He only had one Inferno, so we probably could have tripled him if we had planned better. But by then, the wall was one. Anyway, um, these guys have Infernos. And Inferno, Inferno. <clears throat> and then... As you can see, they it's like they wanted to engineer, but they had a lot of their bases just beginning to engineer. Because this guy's got a two Grand Warden, and it doesn't look like he's got the Clean Castle. So he's not going to do anything. Um, and that was kind of the story of this war. Like, their 11s, uh, that guy had a four Grand Warden. I don't think barely any of their 10s passed heroes that were above 10-10. It's like, yes, you can engineer, but engineering will only work if you get your heroes up. You won't, you don't want to engineer as a town hall 11 and have like a 10 king and a 5 queen and then get a level 1 grand warden. Like, but as you can see, their bases were pretty trashy. Um, yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah, this was, this was a pretty, um, Easy one for our Town Hall 9s. I remember they had like 7 Town Hall 8s. Um, they, well, 99 on Brandon, 94, 69, uh, 84. So, well, 99 on Kraken. They did get a couple 99s, 96 on, on our 90.5. So, just a breakdown was weird. Um. But it doesn't take away from some of our sexy, sexy hits. The first one I'm going to show is myself, Bob Jr. Uh, this one came right at the end of war. And I was actually scouting for Shadow for this one. Um, I was scouting a hit for Shadow. And Bob Jr., I'm going to show how clutch this is. Bob Jr. ends up taking it. This guy is a Tunnel 10, does have Max Inferno's, got the mid-level Tunnel 10 defenses. Not a joke of a defense levels. Um, his base, pretty trashy, but his defenses weren't bad. So I decided to come in at this right corner, because I saw there was no giant bomb, so my bowlers wouldn't get roasted super early. So I sent in my wall breakers. Queen was a big scare, she almost walked on me. Um, but later she does turn around. Got my bowlers in, that's good. Rage them up early. Um, rage bowlers are better than dead bowlers. And poison the clan castle. They, these guys had a lot of witches. 
So luckily my king took down that inferno before I could do any more damage, and at this point, I took out his queen, I took out an air defense, and the inferno. If the queen was any smarter, I would have taken out another air defense, but she decided to shoot a wall. And at this point, I just start the la loon from, from down below. And I'm just going to haste these loons in. Um, my haste are level 1, so they don't, they don't really move that fast. But haste these loons in, rage spell... And I should have saved some loons for these wizard towers. Like I said, this was a scout. I didn't even really plan to hit this base. I just decided where my kill squad was going to enter. So because it was a scout, um, I didn't do it like you would normally hit a tunnel 10. I didn't save wizard towers. I didn't have a yell spell, yada, yada. But these loons take out the inferno tower, and there's a whole bunch of loons. However, there's two wizard towers, and I don't have any more spells left. This loon, MVP loon right here. This loon takes one shot. He's going to get two shots on this wizard tower. And then his splash, defense, splash damage is going to bring that wizard tower super low. Now look at this pack of loons. This pack is getting slaughtered by this wizard tower. At this point, I thought I was going to get like a 99% fail. This other wizard tower is killing these loons. Look at this. Look at this. One loon left. Look at the health on that loon. This loon is going to get close enough to a wizard tower. The splash the splash damage destroys the wizard tower, and I have pups left, so my pups are going to clear clear for the rest of this base. That was the craziest loon drop. I don't think I've ever seen a loon get splash damage on a defense from that far away. So that was obviously an insane, insane drop. Um, also, this one, I had like one or two seconds left when it ended, so very close to a timeout. And I would have been really mad if I timed out after that clutch loon. But I'm just going to fast forward these pups. It was because of this bolt, this builder hut. Again, I, it was a scout, so I wasn't, I wasn't looking to bring archers. I was testing pathing. But I do take it out 100, 100%. Bob's first legit Town Hall 10 triple on a base that wasn't too easy. So, great job to Bob. Um, next, I'm going to show Killer coming in on this base. This guy was kind of anti-free. It does have the Inferno modes, which is what matters. And Killer comes in with a hog raid. So, I was pretty surprised. And you'll see why. Um, he, send in, he sends in his kill squad. I'm starting to like the mini kill squad of 5 Alks. Because they can do some pretty damage. Pretty decent damage pretty quickly, as long as they don't hit any giant bombs. But he has this one queen, and she's just she's just gonna help this queen stay long stay up long enough just to tank that defense. And then she's gonna help um tank the golem, but she gets roasted. So healer was almost a swag. I would have probably just placed a giant, probably would have worked the same. He has a jump spell on the Inferno Tower and sends in his Valkyries, but they are not going to be smart. Um, <clears throat> Valkyries are really good for dealing with a witch, so that's really good. And these Valkyries are going to march into the Teslas. So, a little bit of a mistake there by Garrison, overlapping the jump. I would have placed a jump, like, at that corner. That would have absolutely ensured that the Valks would go to the Inferno. So, even if you can just get the very tip of the jump... To cover the Inferno Tower compartment. The Vox will use the jump. I think he wanted them to get the Inferno Tower and go over to the Air Defense. Or not the Air Defense. Um, go over to the Barb King. But he does miss the Inferno Tower and his Queen isn't smart. She goes the other direction. So now he's got this rogue Inferno Tower. So he's got two Inferno Towers left. And he's he starts a hog with like... He has like 25 hogs in his clan castle. Instant skelly trap. So at this point, I was like, "What? This guy's not gonna get it." Um, however, he does heal the hogs, and now that that inferno's down, these are just town hall nine defenses, and so he still has eleven hogs in the bag. Hogs are pretty good um, at level six, so he does have the extra level. He does have max heal spells, those sexy healing spells, and now look at this. He just. He's surgically taking out these defenses, so it helps the hogs pathing. And now the hogs are going to go right to the Inferno instead of go around. He has the haste spell to get them to the Inferno. Has the heal spell, and before you know it, two Inferno Towers and three quarters of the base is dead. So that was a pretty, pretty awesome raid on him. 
Um, I don't. I know this isn't his first tunnel ten triple, but I also know um, it, he doesn't get them a lot. So very nice job to Garrison taking down that town hall ten. Very nice plan. Um, hopefully we can see some more pro town hall ten hogging raids. I love hogs for cleanup. Look at this. Twenty three seconds. This base is gonna be all dead. Hogs are the best cleanup troops in the game. If they can split. And if they're in one pack, they're not good. But if they split, they're the best. <clears throat> and this will wrap up a very nice triple. Four of a minions roam. I think we were definitely outmatched on Infernos this war. Um, yeah. I'm going to show most... Mostly Town Hall 10 raids because, like I showed, um, the Town Hall 9s are pretty trashy. I want to show Dale now. Um, <clears throat> this guy this guy does have the Inferno Towers. They're single target, so a little bit annoying maybe for a kill squad. but And they can pop the Hound easier, but Dale comes in. Dale triples this guy. Um, he enters on a corner. I... I highly recommend not doing that just because it's so insanely hard to funnel. Like, if he had entered on this side and he jumped over to the queen, he would have gotten all of that and he would have still probably cleared the wizard tower. He would have been able to funnel so much easier. So, do not funnel on a corner. However, Dale does it like a pro. Um, and now he's just, he's just going to place his heroes and his bowlers. And that's good. At least he placed them early enough where they targeted that gold um, elixir storage. Otherwise, they might have walked. And now they're going to walk right into his base and grab two air defense? I'm not sure. These Inferno Towers are trying to keep up. Um, he has the early Barb King Rage, so that's good. So the Inferno Towers are going to have a hard time keeping up. He got two air defenses, so that was really nice. And now, at this point... Does he get that Inferno? No. At this point, he's just got this back-end La Loon he's got to do. Places a whole bunch of loons. Um, he does place them at once. I wouldn't recommend doing that. I would have done it surgically, maybe three or four per defense. However, he still crushes the space. And as you can see, two haste spells. Places them. I would have placed them a little bit outward so the balloons um, can get into that wizard tower more. And look at that cool design. With the free ace spells. Anyway, these loons are going to come right in. Has this one OP loon tanking this wizard tower. And these air skellies are pretty annoying. But luckily he's got a pup that's working on him. And now he's just got two loons left. And he's just got clean up. So I'm just going to fast work this. Um, pretty clutch raid by Dale. Very nice raid. As these troops close in on the last elixir collector. That was a nice job for Dale. So, good job, Dale. Um, I'm not sure which one I want to show. Um, okay, I'll just show um, Mephra's raid. And then call it a video because this was a never town hall 10. And this guy at least had the multi inferno. He does have one expo. Does he only have one expo? No, he's got two. Looks like he went right from town hall 9 to town hall 10. Um, Mephra's just going to do a straight up bowler witch at raid. And since this guy's got single infernos, he's going to pretty much run right over it. He has a queen walk up top, which I completely missed because I'm that good. And he's pulling her down the left side of the base. Has some witches and some bowlers. Good job on those. You want to do them in packs of three. So three witches, about two or three bowlers, so that's good. His king's going to walk. Um, he didn't play some far enough inside. However, that's not going to matter. He's just going to help tank these bowlers and witches. And now he's got a whole bunch going in right out of his multi-inferno. Take that down fast. And before you know it, that multi is down. He has a heal spell. Now he has a never jump. Very nice jump. Going right over to the ever inferno. And these bowlers are just ripping through his base. Absolutely tearing him apart. Does get that inferno taken down. 
still has both hero abilities, still has these healers alive in the core, has all of these bullers and witches, and this this one was absolutely rip. He ripped this base so hard. Got like 200 skeletons running around and all these witches and two healers healing back golem because everyone knows golems are very essential to the raid. So good job healers being very smart with that golem. Look at how much tanking this golem's doing. Very, very clutch. <coughs> very clutch. Beautiful raid. Um, beautiful raid. They outnumbered us in Inferno, so we did have to pick out these lower Inferno bases, but luckily they were not anti-freeze, so... I'm sure this guy would argue that he was, but he wasn't. <laughs> um, that was my first raid. So, that is that. We, I'll definitely do a war recap of the one we're in. Ooh, they just finished alive. Oh no, they get a star? Yeah, they got Mizzy. Rip Mizzy. No, he was too young. Anyway, we're in a pretty nice war right now. Um, this clan is, well, they're really good. Um, our tunnel nines had some fails, but overall we've stepped up pretty well. Um, just showing you, it's also a fair war, two, ten, two elevens, um, I'll talk more about the breakdown in the next video, I just wanted to hype you guys up, still seven hours left, hopefully this one will be a W for Minions Realm, and then our Warlog will be looking even sexier, I hopefully will be getting back into war myself pretty soon, ooh, got the Archer Tower, I decided to drop the eagle because I am pretty big against no um, engineered no point five point fives screw up matchups. I'm sure this enemy clan would agree because their matchup got screwed up by ours because we have like four or five more inferno bases than them, so it's gonna be hard for them. But I am dropping that eagle. I don't want to be some stupid scrub point five max player. I don't like those people. I think they're annoying and cowards to hide behind. It, it's no better than engineering, honestly. Like, you say you're point five, but point five is an upgrade strategy. If you're max and you still haven't dropped the defenses, you are engineered. So, I am dropping the eagle. I will drop the expo in 30 minutes when that archer tower fate um, finishes. I have the clan castle at 7 hours. I already have uh, max bowlers, as you can see. And my warden is going up to 14. So, warden's going to go up to 15. Hopefully, I will, well, I will put king down to 44. And then, once my king's 45, I will jump in, jump back into wars full time. Um, that's going to be pretty exciting to jump back into wars. I miss wars quite a bit. But yeah, that's just an update for Chlorine. Hopefully, I don't know, maybe... I would say about 16 days. 14 for the king. Maybe I'll jump the last level, I don't know. So yeah, in a week or two, I will be back in the wars, and we will get even better. So, that was a quick war recap. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will be coming back maybe tomorrow. Yeah, I, I might post a video tomorrow um, for the war we are in. And like I said, hopefully it's a win. Hopefully it's close. That would be awesome if they make it close. Um, but I don't I don't want to spoil anything else. So I will see you guys later. I hope you have a perfectly nice day. I know this is a nice day for us. And I will see you guys tomorrow.